so now the next step for us is to create uh, our own page and blog page so to do that you can just come up here and you can click it close this uh, up here here by the side as you can see pages so just click on add page add new so to take you um this not really the page the view that i want this somehow complicated now to get the um, exact view that i want to create these pages we need to install one more plugin let me show you just come to plugin here click on add new the plugin we are going to be is classic editor this is it it's obvious here yeah. classic editor just click install and activate now let's go back and check over over to pages click on add new yes <laughs> wow bravo this is the view that we want so in case you have an encounter with that kind of uh, issue because that view is not really um, easy for beginners to be able to operate but like this now it's very very easy this view is very very easy so getting here all you need to do next is to type your page title here so let's just type home page home page you don't need to write anything so come down to the page attribute i click on templates choose front page that is all so the permalink will be generated automatically as you can see with the home page here but after setting our home page you won't see this home page again as home page yeah you won't get this you won't get this uh, this home page here again it will just only be webmaster.ferratway.com so this will be erased after we've you know make our proper settings but i will show you that very soon i will show you that so to save your uh new page just come here and click publish now our page our own page is published now we can just quickly check pages publish page publish i mean view page let's view the page and see how it look so this is what you should see this is what you should see let's go back let's click on add new and add another page that we stand our as our own i mean uh, blog page just type blog page you can just type blog for blog page we don't need to go to the page attributes because we are going to use the template you know um, layout that sydney team has provided for us so we don't need to change anything here just click button click button so it will publish now as you can see you can just play around and check also but we don't need to do that now all we have to do next now is to go and uh, make some changes through the settings area for the home page and the blog page come down come to the left side here these settings from settings just click on reading now it will take you to where to set up your home page and uh, blog page now just come down here click on a static page and the home 
I'll just quickly come here now <laughs> and check our website and see how it looks like. That is webmaster.com. Click enter and let's see how our own page looks like. So this is what we got right now. As you can see, as I said earlier, now as I said earlier, you will only get the web webmaster dot follow right way dot com so there's there's nothing like slash home page again because the reason why is that we make our own page as a front page so we won't get that kind of a uh, home page sort of again so all we have to do is to come back here to click on edit page if you click on edit it will take us back to the page we created which is the home page as you can see now here now you can't see the this home page here anymore because it has been changed according to our settings before we take any step forward I've forgotten that um, we're supposed to add another great plugin that would have really serve as a great tool for us to build this website and this tool is a plugin that is if, as in is the secret behind this first method is the real deal i repeat it is the secret behind this first method so is the tool that we use to build for uh, any type of page that we are going to you know create in this website so all we have to do now is to over over to uh our plugin and click add new so that we can install the plugin so that we can start building our website so the name of the plugin is page builder so this is the almighty tool for the first method now all we have to do this is the page builder by site origin now click install now and click on activate so with this we will be able to create our own page and some other necessary pages and customize anywhere we want so now let's just go back to i want to show you something let's go back to the pages let's go back to the pages let's click on any page let's click on our own page here just click on edit So this is the page builder here. You know, before we only have this visual and test, but now the page builder has added. So now, if I click on this page builder now, it will take us to where we can start customizing our uh, page with other tools. So this is the secret behind the first method that I called page builder. So. Uh, you will be amazed when we start you know customizing the home page so and you will like this uh, method now before we start customizing the um, um, home page what we have to do next is to do make some changes so by setting up the um, let me show you by setting up the home page here which is our slide so as you can see here we have the title subtitle and a call to action button so once we are going to work on this first then we can now later start building the remaining steps and the remaining sections using the site builder so we have to do this first so let's go back now so what we have to do now is to just come here and come to the left side and over over to our uh, uh, appearance from my plan just click on customize so now you see how our website look like now so there's nothing here so in this section this area here as you can see you can see so many tabs here to make changes on your website you have bunch of tabs here to make changes from one tab to another this section is a preview of your website so whenever you are making any changes here 
you will be seeing the display it will be preview here live how it's going to be so and whenever you make any changes make sure you click on save and publish here so and you can also play around here this is a web uh, desktop view this is tablet this is smartphone or maybe iphone or something so now all we have to do now is to change our um is to make changes on our slider first which is this the home page here though this one is not sliding but i'm going to make it slide hope, hope you understand what i'm talking about it will be going moving left slide so now we change this title and the subtitle and the call so and the call to action now so that's why i said you must be creative so like this now they didn't make it so to slide but i'm gonna make it to slide so now let's go back to do that the first thing we have to do is to come to the area tab the area, uh, other area tab so from there you see another um tab to choose let's go to the header type first in this header type i'm going to choose full screen slider as you can see it's changing here it's changing here then you come down here i'm going to leave okay let me choose i'm going to choose image here if you choose video if you choose video here i will remind you where to use the video i mean to insert the video or upload the video or you know um incorporate the link of the video but in my own case i will use this image then i will click on publish then after that all i have to do is to scroll up and click the back button and i will come here edit slider this is where i will need to change my slider here my slider here so in my own case here this is as you can see slider speed in milliseconds so that means it will be switching with it will be switching in every four four seconds but now i would like to make it 6.5 seconds number six five zero zero so to be 6.5 seconds so i will scroll down so i i, I will select my first <laughs> slider image so that was what i will do now I click here if you like you can just go and upload direct maybe if you have the file on your system already just click set, click here upload file and click select file but i've already uploaded all the media that i want to use so all i have to do is to just click on the media library and choose the image i want for the first um for the first slide image let me check i think um, i like this let me choose this one so you can just come here and click on choose image it's loading it will preview very soon so now we can just come down to choose test first test which is the title for the first slide we choose the title here and subtitle for the first slide let me show you this is the first and this is the subtitle so i will just come here and to a uh, let me just use master master web design good and here let me just let me put best best method to learn web design um this image it's not really good for this slide uh, i think i have to change the image just come here and click change if you want to make any changes let me choose this one and choose change
so it's going to preview it here it's loading now now the next thing we have to do is to come down to the second slider let me choose image good great as you can see it's full now and very very professional and high catching now i will click here to select the image i want to use next um sorry 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 okay click here so in this case uh, let me i would like to choose upload another um image here because i don't think i have anyone i can use here i don't think so i don't think so let me just go and upload very quickly select file it's loading let me see let me go back up I think this one is great let me choose this and open so from here now I can just click choose for the second slider second slider I mean so all I have to do is just come here and put my title become a professional web designer become a professional web designer now um, to become web guru <laughs> great so as you can see now it's sliding <laughs> master web design best method to learn become a professional web designer the three methods to become web guru wow this is very very great now compare this with this as you can see, so you have to be very, very creative. That's what I'm trying to tell you. So you can become a professional on your own. So it's your work that will showcase, you know, your expertise. Now, we are moving forward. I think this is the third slide. If you want to make it 30 slide, now this, I just, I just want to slide, and it's giving me to slide now. So if you want 30 slide, so you just come to the third slide here and make the changes by following the. Uh, process we've done here yeah. so now I'll just go down 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 and this first slide also if you want to so I'll just go down down to the call to action which is this button I can just so this call to action is you know an action for maybe is the action for let me say your audience or your users to just take action to one from here to a particular page now you can just insert the url for your call to action button here the name of url is your uh, link to that page maybe www.sususususu slash your website slash uh, blog or your website slash services or anything so just put the link here and here will be where you can you know type your action words like learn more learn more and you can make it capsulator if you like it's it's already in capsulator so learn more if they click if they click on this um call to action it will take them immediately to the right page so here just use responsive and click publish after that just move back up and click the back button so that we can be right back to the uh, normal tab come here click on edit our media so that we can make it this is where i said i will remind you if you choose video as your editor so this way you need to choose the video or you place the link of the video here and here the editor image if you need editor image you can maybe this editor image 
can be used for uh, maybe if you if you want if you need if you want to create a other email that will create a top main whenever you want to share your post or your website on a social media like facebook and others so you can just choose your image here okay so i'm not gonna choose i'm not gonna choose anything here but um because i'm really impressed and happy with this i will just hit the back button so the main style you can choose any one of these if you like you can choose one of these but i would prefer the sticky then the main style the inline and the center what the in, let me show you the difference of this the difference is if you if you this inline now your, your website logo and the header menu will be in line they will be in line they will be in straight uh, line but if you click the center let's see what we happen here that's what we happen as you can see your header menu will be below while your logo will be up now but if we make it in line so they will be aligned with each other so that is the perfect one so great just click make sure you always click publish whenever you make any changes and after that make sure you always click on save whenever you make any changes click the back um, button now with true with all these tabs we we'll make all the settings all the necessary settings so all we have to do next is to just hit the back button and come back to general now i'm not going to change any um settings here i will leave it as default because it's already set now um logo so here i like this web uh, title yeah this is my site title i like it i could just make just little uh, changes i will change this to capture letter and also change this to capital letter mm. i will change my tagline to become a web design guru good become a web design guru great so if i have logo i will um, select the image to choose for my logo here and five icon site icon i mean so i will choose here but i'm going to show you all this later if i should use logo this site title will not will not appear you should note that you can make it appear and you can leave it like that so but i will still explain better very soon so just click on publish and hit the back button now we are done with that now let's go to the block options now i'm gonna leave it as the default it's okay like this then all i have to do is to just come down come down here so to the exact length you choose your exact length so default is 55 but i'm not gonna make it a 55 because if i make it 55 when i publish any blog post or maybe any update so the words that will be down the post will be too lengthy 55 words too lengthy but i want to make it very short let's just say 30 let me show 30 30 so i will leave others as default so i click publish then go back so the fonts let's click the fonts let's see um, okay all I, all I can just do here I only I only have one thing to do here let me scroll down which is the body font size the body font size so it's it should be 16 because at times you can meet it 14 but it should be 16 if you discover that is 14 just make sure you put 16 and click um, save if you make any changes there so it's okay like this let me leave it and go back 
so the only one step for us to take here now is to come to the i'm not going to touch the footer now okay let me check let me check the footer mm. okay i'm not going to check i'm not going to touch the footer now let me just leave it and come to the font sorry to the uh colors this is the only one step that remain the general so you can choose any color that you want so the background color let me just try to do something great let me choose um orange or let's see something like this background color let me choose i think let me choose red let me choose red Mm -hmm. let me choose red and the primary color let me choose white you can just make any changes anywhere you want it and the body test mm. let me choose black the body test let me choose white so you can just play around and do whatever you like just play around and whatever you like so come back the header okay ah this genera maybe i should leave it as default let me leave it as default so let me also leave this as default let me leave this as default also so i'll do just hit the publish button so come back the head area is the head area so menu background let me just make it um i would like to change my menu background let me use that um orange that i said i think let me use orange good <laughs> i like this i like this i like this and um site tie to uh, it's okay side description is okay and um okay let me try to change the site description let me make it blue and see ah it's not really fine black no let me make it white the white is okay menu items over mm, it's okay like this so menu white is okay great so it's the publish button and go back now the sidebar i think it's okay like this the sidebar is okay let me just default the footer is okay let me just leave like that so we are done with the settings now so let's just go and see how our website look like now just click here to get rid of the customized page so now just over over here and click on visit sites good bravo as you can see so you see how our website look like now this is the home page so now you can compare this with this so that's why you have to be very very creative and do something great believe in yourself and believe in your ability try to learn every day try to be creative so that is what will really make you a professional in your field or in any of your expertise so look at it it's very great with slide it's very great so this is the beginning anyway we just get started with the first method just get started so now just come back here you can just click edit here edit page now this is our home page the next step we need to take is our logo and favorcon i'm pretty sure you know what i mean by logo you know what logo means right and fiverr account if you don't know what fiverr account means let me show you 
favacon is what really show on the tab search here on your tab browser like this 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 sign this sign this sign this sign they are all favacon why logo can be something like this logo can be something like this so now it is time for me to show you how to create a logo very very easy and simple and also your fiverr account to use for your website now all you have to do now is to let me open another tab let me open another tab so just go to logo maker logo maker.com as you can see here just go to logo maker.com and click enter great when you reach here just click just cut it up great to this next next and done so as you can see search over 1 million graphics over 1 million graphics so you can search any keyword that you want to create your logo so in my case i will just type compass good so i will scroll down a little bit so i would like to choose this one good mm, depends on what you want but if your logo is too big it will mess up the home page right here yeah. but i want to do something that you know will make the website look professional it will not be too big it will just be in line with the uh header menus so they will be in line so because if it is too big this uh header will be too large so i want to make it smart and professional so let me go back and make it smaller i can just make it 50 50 50 by 50 50 by 50 let me just use this 49 is okay so it depends on the color you want you can just play around to choose any color that you want anyway i've gotten this already because i've got it done it's inside my uh, what's it called my media uh tools already i want to use so i've got that done i just want to show you so that you can know what to do so after you choose your color your preferred color just come here and click save logo now here if you want the high resolution file it will cost you 19 dollar but if you just want to if you just if you need the new resolution just come down here and click no thanks download new resolution if you if i click it now it will download automatically but i don't want to download it so now after that after you've done that so you just you can come back also and change the color so that you can use it for your favorite fiber con like this now i choose uh is it i think it should pink something like pink now so if you want if you want the same color for your logo and fiber con no problem because in my own website i use the same uh, color for both the, my fiber con and logo so you can use it like that if you like but if you want you can change the color and save it again so it will be two so and you choose the one that you want to use for your logo and fiverr con so now i've shown you how to create a logo now so let's go and uh, get this done on our new website so all we have to do is to um come to the appearance tab and click on customize then move straight to the site title tagline and logo tab so here just come down here choose your logo here so you can if you like you can 
click on upload file here and select file to choose the logo you just uh, create and uh, but i've already uh, i have this in my library before so i don't need to upload any logo again so this this will be i will use this for my logo and use this one for my five account so all i have to do is just click on it and choose image you know i told you the other time that if you want to use logo both the size title and the tagline will go so either you go for logo or you go for um site title either of the two so immediately i upload the logo now you see the site title you know just disappear so it depends on your choice anyway but i like it this way because it looks you know very smart high catchy and professional so the next thing i will need to do now is to get my as you can see just the norm, the fiber come here just the default which is the web uh, sign graphic of a thing so i don't want this i want a separate and unique fiber come so we just come here and select the my the fiber con that i want to use so just click on it and select so i've cropped it already it's well cropped it's okay so make sure you make it somehow small not too big as you can see just skip cropping click on skip cropping so see now the fiber count has changed great the next thing we have to do now is to go and make a very good changes in our settings and what is the change the change we need to make now is here as you can see the, this website does not have uh, the ww dot it only have web master.folatway.com but i want it to be www dot so i want to make it to be www dot here so all you have to do is to just publish click on publish always make sure you save then just um get rid of this uh, page here by clicking this sign and come to codes let's scroll down to the settings area and click on general and from the general we'll be able to set your uh, website www dot now here just click uh, after the http column slash slash just put www dot and come down to the site address also www dot that is all you need to do please don't break any words here and don't mistype anything because if you do that your website is not going to load and you'll be able to access your website so that means you have to start all over so be very very careful when you are doing this so after completing this process just come down and click save changes so while it's saving the next step we are going to take is to change our permalinks so yeah it's going to ask for just for security purpose maybe you are the one that really changed it so it's going to take you back to login page where you will log in so just click enter your uh, username and password and login back to your dashboard to check what we've just done now let me show you here you know before we don't have www dot even if you click on this um search bar we don't have www dot but now if i click on it now you will see the www dot as you can see www dot webmaster dot so that is great uh, so the next settings we are going to make change you know now is uh, the, our permalink very very important come back to the settings click on permalinks then this is where you need to choose the permalink that you want so here are the common you know settings but i would like to choose the best one that really look professional 
i don't like this day and name i don't like that the best one is the post name the post name i'm going to choose this the post name and click changes great so we are moving on the next step now is to let's go to our pages and see all the pages we've created so i'm getting here as you can see we have our blog blog page home page so and we have this as default this sample page as default i don't want this privacy policy now so i will trash it to delete it i can even just mark i can check this boss check this boss and click move to trash here and apply so as you can see the two it remain the uh, only blog and home page that we created so and so the the two pages that i just deleted now they are in the uh, trash um section so if i want to delete it permanently i can just click on the trash and delete them permanently